Hi everybody. I just wanted to make a video. Yep, I'm in my PJs. The owls. I love owls. I have owl pajamas. I have an owl tooth, necklace, earrings. Oh yeah, owls. Very cute. Okay. Well, I wanted to make a video because I just wanted to talk about a fun little topic, you know. You know, the governing body, like they can't they're worse at predicting the end than weathermen are at predicting the weather. <laughs> and did you, ever, did you ever sit and like think about that? Like, like all the all of the Jehovah's Witnesses leaders that have come and gone have gotten it wrong from from Charles Taze Russell, Rutherford, brother nor France, like all of them, like everyone who has tried to predict the end has got it wrong. You know, we know Russell predicted 1914. Now, I forget who it was, but I th think they... There was an 1800, 1870 something. Sorry, I can't remember the exact year. 1870 something, I think, was they were also... Um, predicting the end and it didn't happen. That was even before 1914. And then, you know, Russell, like, what does he do when he gets when 1914 doesn't happen? Oh, wait, it's going to be 1915. <laughs> oh, no, wait, 1916. Then I think he might have given another one, but then he died. And I think nineteen was I think nineteen twenty five was supposed to be another one. Like oh man, it's like almost every decade has had a prediction for the end. The famous one being nineteen seventy five. Now I always enjoy listening to experiences of those who were um, of those who were there and like lived through the nineteen seventy five were there and saw it happen. I don't blame so many for leaving. I really don't. You know, I'm just, I'm, part of me is kind of glad it didn't happen because I wasn't born yet. <laughs> That's, um, yeah, I know it was, it was, I think it was known as the Great Disappointment because it was supposed to be, they even, that was one time they even gave a month and a day, I think. October 31st and it um, that failed prediction resulted in thousands of leaving now what's interesting to note the the two sisters I got a ride with they were family members pretty much both of them well, I mean, like, they too were family members, not related to me, them, sorry. And they were, um, yeah, I remember, and I do remember asking them about 1975. And I was careful in my wording, but I was honestly disappointed with their answer. Well, in them. I mean, I knew their answer would suck <laughs> because of how heavily indoctrinated they are. This is when I was still in. Um, they basically took Watchtower side that, you know, no, they weren't predicting the end. It was just the witnesses that took it out of context and got it wrong. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, I just, I can't believe they actually lived through it, saw it fail, but continue to stay loyal to the organization. <laughs> I think that just goes to show you how how heavily indoctrinated they really are, how tight Watchtower's grip really is on them. Now there's another, the one I would have like just missed. Yeah, only by mere months of when I started studying. Yeah, the year 2000, I've heard they, 
not only Y2K, but that was another possible end date that the witnesses were <laughs> preaching. Well, not preaching, or kind of just like thinking. Uh, two th but I was around for 2001. I was studying when, you know, 9-11 happened. Uh, for me, it was just... For me, I like hate to say it now, it was motivation for me to keep studying and it kind of helped push me just to start doing the door-to-door -door work. You know, and that, that was a time when a lot, even while studying, I do remember, yes, there was a bit of a, there was a little bit of a surge in our area, even too, of ones who were like long inactive or disfellowshipped who were, who came back, you know. And then, of course, nowadays it's all about COVID. You know, just always thinking we're closer than ever, you know. I can only imagine there's probably a lot that are sitting at home and thinking, yeah, we haven't had a pandemic like this in so many years. Like, of this scale, we've got to be so close to the end. <laughs> I just love that. Oh, man, that... <laughs> I just love what the governing body has said. It just, uh, yeah. We're in the, f the last of the last of the last of the final part of the final part. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. So if we're really in the last day, we're really so close. How close are we? Yeah. has <laughs> like been saying that for 20 years and the whole organization really a lot longer than that you know I just that was part of my waking up process I just I couldn't take that anymore okay it's like something's got to give here like for me yeah, it's like 20 years later and nothing's happening like either you guys are wrong <laughs> and I'm just nowadays I couldn't imagine being a witness. I would just be downright disturbed by their bloodlust. Their bloodlust. I want to make sure I pronounce that right. <laughs> the, um, you know, that's how they talk about wanting to, they can't wait to see everybody die. And they can't wait to come back with Jesus on the horses and slaughter everybody who's not a Jehovah's Witness, basically. Or that they don't know whether they'll be gone already or whether they'll still be here. I think there's a new light there that they've shed on that. <laughs> I don't... It's... <laughs> and just, there's something to think about. Not only do these witnesses come to, to preach to you through letters or phone or come to your door. They also sit at home and with thoughts running through their head, such as, you know, uh, I can't wait till this wicked world is gone and everybody's dead and we can move into their homes and, yeah, when Jehovah will make this world a paradise again and we can, I'm going to live in that, I want that home that we were at the other day, I want that house enjoy everything that they used to have like <laughs> so you want to preach to, to them to save them well no convert them into a Jehovah's Witness but at the same time you can't wait until they're dead how does that make sense it doesn't So, yeah, in conclusion, I think I said it best at the beginning, the governing body is worse at predicting end dates than, than weathermen are at predicting the weather. So, I would like to thank you guys for watching my video. Please hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. 
and I will see you guys in the next one.